Hello and welcome to Sunday Roast The Leftovers. This is the show that comes after the audible version of The Sunday Roast. It's a little 10 minute extra bit where the three of us chat about things. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm not in the studio this week and I'm not with Joe or Lewis. Um, and that's because we didn't have time to uh, film The Leftovers this week. So it's just me in my house. Um, on tonight's, uh, on today's episode, uh, we're going to be talking about Mother's Day and our guests that we have in the studio tonight. We're going to be, uh, I'm going to be doing a mum quiz to find out what type of mum I would be, which we did with our guests on the show. Uh, we're going to be talking about the music we played on tonight's show, and I'm going to be talking about our next week's guest and the theme next week. Um, so that is what we've got coming your way. Let's get into that. Um, so first. Um, we had a Mother's Day special t uh, tonight because, of course, it's Mother's Day. Uh, we had Lewis's mum, Sally, in. Um, lovely lady, very funny, like, really funny. Um, once the show's podcasted, I would very much recommend going and listening back because um, she was just hilarious. She um, really had some good stories to tell. Uh, we also had Joe's mum, Jill, uh, head teacher. Um, she, is, she was very good, uh, good fun to talk to. Um, a bit of a natural actually, I'm a little bit worried about Joe's position behind the desk, it could get taken over by Jill. Um, we also had uh, Bianca Haler in the studio, who is a mum-to-be, uh, she's expecting, um, which is exciting, it's good to have a uh, perspective of um, someone that wasn't a mum yet, um, but joining in the conversation, so that was good fun. And um, Lewis's dad Paul was in the back, it wasn't, it wasn't so much part of the show, but he was there, so I feel like he should get a mention. And so that's what we had on. We're talking about Mother's Day because obviously it is Mother's Day. Um, and we had a look at Mother's Day films. Um, we played um, like a Mr. and Mrs. type game, but it was a mother, mother and child. Um, it was all alright until they decided that me and Bianca would go together and I'd play Bianca's son. Um, we didn't do very well at all, uh, guessing stuff about each other because we didn't know um, much about each other. Um, so let's move on then to talk about the music we played on tonight's show because there was some good stuff, lots of mum theme songs and then island songs because that's what we play usually, island songs. Um, so the show opened with Pick Me Up by Polar Maps, um, a great local band Polar Maps. Uh, I picked this song uh, in particular because that's what a mum does, isn't it? they pick you up when you're down, which is what the li uh, lyrics say. Um, uh, we also had Ollie Fry with uh, Bada Bing Bada Boom, we tend to play Ollie Fry quite a lot on the show anyway. Um, so that's what we played. Uh, we also had Whiskey Nights from Clayton Connor. Um, not much to say about that, just a good song from a local artist. Um, we played Goodbye Yellow Brick Road by Elton John, which was a request from Lewis's mum, Sally. Uh, good song, good choice. Um, Jill's request was Supermarket Flowers, uh, Ed Sheeran's new song written from the perspective of his mother who had lost her mother. So Ed Sheeran's nan, who had died. Uh, but it was written from Ed Sheeran's mum's perspective, um, which is a really nice song. Um, I then requested Take Your Mama by the Scissor Sisters, which I think is awesome. Um, also one of my mum's favourite songs, so I thought I'd throw that one in there. Um, we then had a bit more local music with Brighter Day by Derek Sandy. Um, we have a bit of Derek Sandy on the Sunday Roast. Uh, then Bianca's choice was You've Got a Friend in Me uh, by Michael, the Michael Bublé version. Um, great song really. Um, not really mum related, but it didn't matter. Uh, we had Mamma Do The Hump by Rizzle Kicks, uh, Mamma Mia from the Mamma Mia soundtrack. Um, we had My Little Ukulele Song by Island Artist Holly Kirby, Early Summer by Greg Barnes. We had Hey Mama, which was is, which is Moldover's Eurovision entry this week, um, and that's by the Sunstroke Project. And we also had Mama Said by Lucas Graham, as chosen by Joe Plum. Uh, so that's the music we had on, lots of mum themed songs, so that was good fun. Um, so now, uh, I'm going to be, and now we're doing the BuzzFeed quiz, um, uh, we know what type of mum you'll be. Uh, we did this with um, the three guests, um, Sally got mumsy mum, uh, Jill got uh, crafty mum, and uh, Bianca got career mum. I thought I'd give it a go, obviously I'm never going to be a mum, because I'm a male, um, but I thought it would be fun just to give that a go. So, first question, how many kids do you want? And the options are one, two, three, four, five, or six plus. Uh, I've always said that I like three kids, um, so that's what I'm going with there. Uh, what, is your, what was my favourite subject in school? PE, art, math, science, drama, or English? Has to be drama. Uh, choose a baby grow. I'll put a picture of all the baby grows up on the screen now. Uh, I'm going to go for the one with braces. I like that one the most. 
Um, choose a home. I'm going to put the pictures of the homes up on the screen. Uh, I'm going to go with the one which has a swimming pool on the outside of it because I like a bit of swimming. Uh, choose an activity to do with your kids. Painting, swimming, trampolining, reading, skating, play mums and dads. Has to be swimming. I love a good swim. Uh, choose a TV mum. So there's Viv from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Linda from Bob's Burgers, uh, Bo from Blackish, Marge from The Simpsons, Constance Wu from Fresh Off the Boat, and Lorelai from Gilmore Girls. Uh, I'm going to go for Viv from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. She looks like fun. I don't really know any of them apart from Marge. I wouldn't say Marge is a TV mum that I'd choose. Uh, choose a drink. Cranberry cocktail, red... Oh. Uh, red wine, coffee martini, orange juice, cola, milkshake. Uh, probably drink cola more. I'm going to go for a milkshake. Uh, choose a pair of baby shoes. Again, I'll put these up on the screen. I'm going to go for the little converse -y ones. Uh, choose an extracurricular activity for your kids. Ice skating, tutoring, art club, ballet, football, choir. Um, ooh, I'll probably go for football. Uh, choose a pair of mom jeans. I'll put a picture up again on the screen. Uh, I'm going to go for the... Ooh, I'm between the black ones or the torn ones. I might go with the torn ones, actually. Uh, and I, I'm a wine mum. So another different one from one of the ones we had on the show, which is good. So, uh, the little thing gives you this. I'm a wine mum. Uh, your love of wine won't fade as you age and your kids will know it. You will spend your weekends with all your friends going to shows and getting a little tipsy. You will live for Facebook and would never miss a chance to comment on your kids' photos and tell them how beautiful they are to you. And of course, you'll be known for posting a minion meme with a long, along with a quote about how much you love wine. Um, I'll tell you what, that's very accurate to my mum. So I guess in a way, there's some truth in that. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, strange results, yeah. Um, so that's who I am. I'm a wine mum. Um, this is really weird about other people, it's really strange. Um, uh, we've got just enough time to talk about next week's show. Um, we have got uh, actor Luke Cumberpatch uh, coming on the show, um, who we starred alongside with in One Man Two Governors. He played Alan Dangle. Um, he's very in with theatre stuff, but he's a massive fan of Disney. So we've got a Disney special, so that means I'll have an A to Z probably of Disney characters. I'll have some Mitch's lists with Disney. We'll have some Disney songs with words missing. Um, we'll have whatever Joe and Lewis come up with in their hours. Um, and we'll be joined, as I said, by Luke Cumberpatch. Um, it'll be a good show. So tune in uh, on Sunday at 7 till 10 uh, on VectorsRadio.com. This is probably the shortest one of these. That's because it's just me. I feel a bit awkward going on any further. So I'll see you um, next week. Goodbye. <laughs> Another classic there from Endubs. You're listening to the Sunday Roast. Like and subscribe to our channel. Ooh.